Thank you, thank you. I will tell you, it is wonderful to be home. It was amazing to be there last night in that closing ceremony. And I just have to say, Mayor Hidalgo was just wonderful. Just opened up everything. Is very supportive of us. And so that handoff to me was more than just the symbolism. It's a friendship that has developed between our two cities. Much that we have to learn from them. And I think one of the things I'm the most excited about is the way they turned the Olympics in Paris to be the Olympics for everyone, whether you participated in the games or not. And so to land here right now and to see all of these Angelinos here greeting us lets me know that it is on. So and I hope that the excitement continues in LA and we do all that we need to do to get ready for 2028. And we also <laughs> I think we all feel pressure. We feel the pressure to make sure that our city and our region is prepared and ready and that we take full advantage of what's going to come our way. want to make sure that we don't have the gridlock that we might have after a big event. We want to utilize remote work, but we also want to bring in thousands of buses so people can be transported to events. So we are hard at work on that on the MTA board. Hey, let me just The biggest plan I will sign within the next couple of weeks, an executive directive paying attention to our infrastructure to make sure our streets and everything else are prepared to do a plan to, to do that in our city because we have a lot of work to do on so many different levels. And it's not like we haven't been doing the work, but now we need to put our foot on the gas. Well, having the positive experience for the athletes coming to LA is my job. And if we fall short on that, I'm, I'm the person that should be blamed. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. And one thing that athletes do worry about is where are their friends and family? Are they getting to the venues on time? Do they have their tickets in hand? And so we want to ease that burden and make sure we do take very good friends of care of friends and family through a you know, dynamic ticketing system, through you know, no-car games, where we figure out how to get people to venues um, without the traffic congestion that, that people expect from Los Angeles. It was done in 84. We'll do it again in 28. I'm not concerned about traffic. Um, the, the athletes will get to their points in venues on time from the Olympic Village at UCLA, and we have great plans in place, and I'm just excited to get to work to implement them.